Zap, 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 lightning, zap, zap, lightning, lightning, fade out. Hello everybody, it's me, the Lego Dude, and in today's video I will be talking about the Millennium Falcon Diorama, which has been leaked, and the Coruscant Guard Republic gunship, which has been officially revealed. Meaning it won't be delayed or cancelled as was feared, since we hadn't had official pictures for it yet until now, weeks after the pictures of the West of the September wave of sets had been officially revealed. Starting off with the gunship, we already had the leaked pictures, but now we have the official high quality pictures. Looking at the minifigures, it's overall a good selection, however the Commander Fox has to be singled out for criticism. The torso point is just completely inaccurate, and LEGO have again decided to just use pointing instead of a waist cape, which is as always extremely disappointing. The shock troopers are a lot better, however the helmet holes are also as always very irritating for the clone minifigures. The Chancellor Palpatine and Padme Amidala minifigures are both really good though, so I don't have any complaints about them. The gunship itself looks a lot better with the higher quality pictures, but there are still quite a few flaws. The stud shooters on the wings don't look that good, but my opinion on them has softened quite a bit since I first saw the pictures of the gunship. Most of the other flaws and annoyances for this set are directly connected to it being a lot smaller than past versions. Since this gunship is so small, LEGO can't make the double doors which are accurate to the source material since some of the pieces for it they would need on this downscaled version don't exist. This leads to the set having a clean look when it's closed, but when it's open it looks kind of ridiculous. The interior is also a lot smaller, meaning that there isn't enough space to fit a speeder inside of it like in past versions. The back door also just looks kind of ridiculous as well. Another negative that doesn't have anything to do with the size is that the nose compartment is just completely empty. In the past gunship versions, there was something in the store there, but in this one there isn't, which is a bit of a disappointment. Some good things about the gunship though include how the doors close cleanly, like I mentioned earlier, and that this set has a handle which makes it a lot easier to carry around. Overall, there really isn't that many problems with the exterior, but considering the other problems and how much it costs for a shrunken version of the gunship, I would say to wait until it's on sale to buy it. It's overall a good set, but with how much it costs for what you get, it's a much better choice to wait until it's on sale to get it. Moving Moving on from the gunship, we're now going to talk about the Millennium Falcon Diorama, which was leaked a few days ago. The minifigures are BB-8, a brick-built Porg, Chewbacca, Finn, and Rey. It's numbered 40658, has 282 pieces, and will cost $40. It's based off the LEGO Star Wars Holiday Special and was originally thought to be the promo for the UCS Venator, but will instead be its own standalone set. Overall, it looks fine, but it doesn't really seem like a set many people will buy. Most people don't like the sequels that much, and this set isn't particularly outstanding by any metric, so it's very unlikely it'll sell that well. Alright everyone, that is everything for for today's video. Tell me your thoughts about these sets in the comment section down below. What do you think about the Millennium Falcon diorama? Is the gunship overpriced or not? Do you think the minifigure selection for the gunship is good or disappointing? And one last thing before you leave, please remember to hit the subscribe button, ring the notifications bell, and leave a like on the video. Bye!